more than $5,000 a month to live in a 900 square foot townhouse and 3500 of that goes to interest. Mr. Speaker, all of his spending programs have doubled the cost of housing, housing and according to, our, to Bank of Nova Scotia, have boosted interest rates another 2 percent. Will he realize the damage he's doing in causing Canadians unsupportable and sustainable mortgage? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we recognize the challenges Canadians are facing, and on this, of the house, this side of the House, we've chosen to invest to support them, to create new affordable housing, to create new apartments. But, Mr. Speaker, as much as the Leader of the Opposition loves to rise in this House to talk about Canadians in the suffering, he will not rise in this House to support solutions to Canadians' challenges. He rose in the House to vote against 71,000 new rental homes through the Apartment Construction Loan Program. He rose in this House to vote against 12,000 new affordable homes through the Rapid Housing Initiative. He likes to instrumentalize Canadians. He won't solve for them. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Voted against an approach that has spent $87 billion on affordable housing to double That's right. the cost That's right. of housing. He thinks that if he's expensive, he's excused for his failures. Mr. Speaker, failing is bad. Failing expensively is even worse. Right. Our common sense plan would require cities permit 15 percent more housing as a condition of getting their financing, give them bonuses if they beat the target, link the dollars they get for transit to requirements for apartments around them, and sell off 6,000 federal buildings and thousands of acres of federal land to build, build, build. Why can't he get behind that common sense plan? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, inflation has gone up, interest rates have gone up, food prices have gone up, energy prices have gone up, all linked to the ongoing war that Russia is waging in Ukraine. We recognize that on this side of the House, and we are acting not just to bring down prices here at home, but to stand with Ukraine in our fight against Russia. Unfortunately, the leader of the official opposition, who referred to Ukraine as a faraway land, refuses to stand up to deliver for Ukraine. Mr. Speaker, on this side of the House, we will always be there for Ukraine. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, he's not there for Ukraine. He's there for himself. When Conservatives demanded that the government provide lethal weapons before Putin's invasion when they most needed them, he said no. When Conservatives kicked Putin out of the G8 and made it the G7, he said no. And what he said yes to? To giving Putin an exported big, powerful turbine to pump his gas and fill his war chest and export detonators used for Russian mines that blow up Ukrainians, Mr. Speaker. That's not there for Ukrainians. We will stand for Ukrainians and for Canadians.